getting into this game. What we're going to do is we're actually going to be spectating this game uh, live. We're going to be spectating from Image Kid, who's uh, one of uh, the subscribers, one of you guys, and he is currently in Gold Force. So what I'm going to be going over is the mistakes, the common mistakes that low elo players make. I'm going to be reviewing the Hecarim, and I'm going to be reviewing the Ren. All right, perfect. So we're going into this game now. All right, so uh, Image Kid is going to be taking Headhunter Rengar. That's clean. Okay, so what you need to do uh, if you're in lower elos, the first thing that you need to do when you get into this game, you need to ask yourself something. So, where are you going to want to gank, right? So we can see that we have Frostblade Irelia uh, right here. We have Ari right here. So is this going to be a good lane to gank? Probably. The odds are Irelia is going to be pushed up. Irelia has no escapes. Uh, Ari has CC. You have a little bit of CC. Um, and Irelia also doesn't have teleport. So if she falls behind, she's going to be a little bit weak. Uh, since Irelia is ranged, or melee, she needs uh, to get into range to trade with Ari. So if it comes to that, Irelia is going to be pushed in, and then you can kind of gank there. Uh, it's kind of hard to gank that as Rengar, but um, that is something you can do. Next, oh, look, we got a little bit of extra time. Sweet. Uh, next, we have Ezreal Soraka versus Twitch and uh, Alistar. This lane... It could be gankable if they're like really pushed up. But other than that, it's going to be kind of hard to gank. Um, it's still a good lane to gank because Twitch is a late game ADC, so you want to kind of deny him early. Um, looking at top lane, Singed versus GP. Uh, if you think about that matchup, Singed versus GP, not going to be too, too good for you uh, to gank there. Um, unless Singed is kind of like really pushed up, just because Singed can run away really, really easily. Um, but if he's like... Actually, if he's pushed down here, you can come into this bush over here and then kind of get a gank off, um, which would be pretty good. But there's also the odds that uh, Singe might try to just proxy, which would be kind of unlucky. Hecarim jungle. Hecarim's not really that strong right now. I mean, I guess he's okay. Um, but he should be able to do uh, do a little bit better. So let's let's get into this game. Let's see what these, uh, what these mistakes are. So, looks like he is going to be starting this. Okay, that's good. All right, so jump, Q, auto attack. All right, perfect, kiting back into the bush. Everything is like it should be. All right, auto attack for the reset. Okay, good. I'm trying to force him to tank it. I don't know if I like that too much. I mean, if he wants to tank it, he'll walk up and tank it. All right, he gets that. Take this here. Okay, I don't like that already. So one mistake that he made, he started backing up as soon as he auto attacked it once. So that means that he gets, he gets hit with that. Uh, and then since he backs up, it doesn't auto attack again instantly. So you can't get the double proc of your W. Um, if you're fighting this, you can, if it's, like, still hitting you, like, uh, it's first three shots, you can get a, a double hit onto the, um, onto the first and onto the second. Uh, what that means is that basically, um, when he, when he does his first two attacks to you, because it ramps down in speed watch. So see, 0.7 goes to 0.6, goes to 0.5. So you need, uh, 1.5 seconds for your gray health, which means basically that, um, if you just kind of stand there and auto attack Q, he'll hit you twice, then you W. Uh, what you want to do is get to your empowered ability and then run back into that bush. It'll be about right here. So you'll be you'll be here, it'll be right here. And then you just hop to it. You get one ferocity from that, and then you can clear it with three, maybe four ferocity for wolf camp. So right here, okay, no. You, you don't attack these first. You attack the big one. Your Qs alone will kill these when once you get to your empowered Q. You're, you're trying to optimize your clear time here. That way you can compete with a jungler that goes here, here, here. Um, in terms of, like, speed. You want to be able to compete with him. But right now, now he's going to have to waste uh, a lot of extra time. Like, right now, he would be a little bit less HP. But he would be done with this already, and he'd be, like, right here. Um, so it's kind of worth uh, trading the time. Also, right here, uh, for the clear, walk over to here, kite it back. So it's like Ferocity is just ticking down. Then auto attack it a last time. That way you can walk here and then E over. Uh, to preserve your ferocity. So, I'll speed this up just a second. So, okay. Uh, you want to jump on this one. It's just a little bit easier to hit your Q onto all of them. Um, aside from that, uh, the reason... Th these would all be gone right now if he had just done that uh, a little bit better. And I have a Rengar clear video that shows exactly wh how I clear. He should be in this bush getting the extra ferocity. He, had two, he would have uh, two ferocity now. Typically, I'll end this clear with a leash like he got at full HP. Um... He's just not properly utilizing the Ferocity that much. Which, I mean, for gold, uh, this isn't that bad, to be honest. But right now, he needs to be aware that Hecarim's probably going to gank. And you can see Hecarim starting to run up. Um, so right now, he hops over the wall. He sees Hecarim here. He can instantly start running over. Um, but it looks like he's probably going to clear. Okay, he should have ran back to there, then jumped on it, uh, and then W'd. If he was going to keep going for that clear there. Um, luckily... The Hecarim isn't really able to get a kill, so this is actually this is actually really good for him because he actually saves his uh, go, uh, flash as well. 
What he should be doing here is running up into there right now, like as soon as he hit level 4. Okay, now, if GP walked up and just, like, tanked these, which the odds are he might not, but if he had, as soon as he hit level 4, walked up here, he would be able to get into this bush in time. So right here, he comes down here. That's, that's a mistake, because he's just kind of just wasting time. What he should have done instead is go into the enemy jungle. Um, that's what I would have done. Just because right here, you have double longsword, you have a control ward, you want to, okay. You want to place the control ward right here. You want to walk over, just place the control ward right there. If you run into Hecarim, Hecarim dies, okay? You, you, you kill Hecarim. Hecarim, for one, hasn't backed yet, but she doesn't really know that, but at the same time, it's, like, kind of not hard to, uh, uh assume. Also, using your W here, a little bit inefficient. But look, if he had, if he was walking over here, he would be able to walk over, deny him some of these minions, possibly kill them. Oh my gosh. Please, no. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh, look, he's gonna get the kill. Okay, he W'd really preemptively. Flash over the wall. Nice. Uh, sweet, go clear these. It's risky, but the odds are, like, at this rank, that... Okay. Um, okay, I, I don't like that. Let me let me show you what, what I would have done there. So right here, after I get this kill, I would have Q'd and then W'd first of all. That way you get like the little extra bit of HP back. And then I would have ran around this way and went back to these Raptors. Uh, all the while like watching mid, or watching bot lane to see if they actually rotated back up. Uh, as, of, as far as right here goes, he has this, it was on an 8 second cooldown. He needs to, uh, he, he needed to E there and then run down here and then suicide to turret. Um, unless there was like a possibility that he could have gotten to her, but really she she rotated a little late. But that's not her fault. She's pushed in right now. He's level four. He's got serrated dirk and boots. Um, that's okay. It's okay to go boots. Okay, this is wrong though. He should be going for this, this, and this. And if you don't know why, basically what it is, it's efficiently clearing. So if you clear this, then you clear this, and you clear this, and you clear this, right? Then you're not wasting any time. Okay. If you clear it uh, the way that he's clearing it, basically what happens is... Okay, that that's also weird. He's just kind of like wasting time there. Basically what happens is, if you go like this, 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 and then you can't get a gank off top lane, that means that he has to go back to there to get anything, okay? that. But, if he goes this, 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 all of his camps are done in a complete and like orderly order. Because he did waste like a bunch of time over there. Okay, whoa, 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 what? Yo, wait, what are, what are you doing? No, 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 no. You, you don't have your ultimate. Going bottom, although it looks good, if they, if you don't get into the bush, then they're gonna... Whoa, no, 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 no your limits, dude. Right here, this guy is literally, you have, uh, Serrated Dirk. That guy is literally, like, toast. You, you kill him so fast, so easily. Your regular Q alone deals, like, half of his HP, not, uh, counting armor. So to deal, like... Uh, probably like a third of his HP. With your auto attack EW, and then an empowered Q, your empowered Q will do straight up like two thirds of his HP. Um, of the, of the HP that he had left. He, he would be dead 100%, you would be up a red buff, you would also be able to go and take this, okay? Um, that's one of those situations where it's like, just, just go and kill him. Um, and then if, if he runs away, you just go and take the red buff. And if he goes and tries to contest you, um... If he goes and tries to contest you, you can just run after him and then kill him. Uh, or force him just to run away even further. But notice how much time he's wasted right here. Uh, if you're not going to actually commit to a counter jungle in the way that he like kind of was like, eh, no, here, don't counter jungle. And also, this ward should be placed up because then it would give vision like this, like that. It would just give way more vision. Um, but now see how much time he's wasting by walking over dead camps? Uh, that's going to be inefficient for the rest of the game unless he lets them die um, for like a while. That's why that's bad. Okay, he's gonna be able to take that. But if he had killed Hecarim there, that would have been so huge. Because for one, Hecarim wouldn't be level 6 for another, like, minute or two minutes. Um, for two, he would have gotten two camps for himself. Which, these camps alone would be, like, an extra 200 gold for him. So, if you think about it, that's, uh... So, if you do a full clear, 650 gold. A full clear here, 650 gold. He's adding 200 to himself. And he's taking away 200 from here. The enemy Hecarim is left with 450 gold from a full clear, and he is left with 850 gold after he does a full clear. The difference is a total of 400 gold that he gets ahead from that. And that's assuming he doesn't even get a kill. If he gets a kill, then it's even further because... And this isn't counting XP as well, but if he gets a kill, it goes even further. 
Um, okay, this is good. Um, he should have eaten midair. Jump there, yeah. That was that was played okay. I mean, obviously, a little bit like eing midair probably would have been way better. Um, you want to jump e, q w w. Um, well, not w w. It, it depends on the, what your empowered ability is. Okay, so right there. Um, he does have his flash up now. Um, we'll keep going bottom, dude. Right here, if you. Okay, you gotta. You can't be an indecision for the. Okay, run over, flash into the, flash into this bush and kill Hecarim. After you kill Hecarim, if you can keep going, you keep going. If not, f jump to that minion. See how long it's taking that minion to die. You could have jumped to that, or you could have jumped to these minions. Um, either one of those would have been really good. But you, he he could have killed Hecarim really easily there. But instead, Hecarim gets all of his charge time. He gets his predator up, and he's able to just do a lot. Okay, good. Eh. I mean, I probably would have jumped in as well. Um, the issue is just that he, he did it a little lately. Like, because he would jump into the bush, and then the jump plus all of his abilities would give him four ferocity. He would have been able to uh, pick him up there. So either way, if he takes that, then he can kind of afford to, like, walk over this way. If not, then he um, has to walk that way, uh, like was shown. He does get that, though. No need to W. Save your W for taking this. Even if you wouldn't have got the minion, it's not worth the amount of uh, health damage you take. It's 18 gold. Not having W for these is going to cost you at least, like, 100 HP. Just because you don't have your empowered ability. Yes, he heals up because of uh, Smite, but if he had not if he had, had his W up, he'd probably be at, like, a little over 1k HP. Uh, which is worth the gold. Okay, he could have empowered Cute a lot faster there. Um... Either way, it kind of works out, though. Uh, just kind of try to use your abilities a little faster. And you didn't have to use your ulti there, either. Although, I guess it kind of uh, was a decent ultimate. And then right there, you could have walked into here. Uh, I, I clear like this, but only if their um, Hecarim or Irelia is still alive. Uh, since they're both dead, and you know that neither of them can be there, you can clear uh, the dangerous way. And leaving one there is so mean. So mean. You can, you can either leave it or you can take it. It depends on... Um, what kind of uh, counter jungling style you're trying to do. If you're trying to do like repeat counter jungling, then just take that anyways, because the turret shot already aggroed you, so. Dark Harvest on the turret. Okay, nice. The problem here is that his uh, minions in his jungle have been up for so long because he hasn't been efficiently clearing. When his ulti's down, he should be taking this. He should go up here, take this. Um, does he have... Yeah, he would actually have enough HP for that uh, if he just waited a second for his W. Okay, right here. He should be walking over this way. He has Hex Flash, you can see. If he goes into this bush and starts channeling Hex Flash, the odds are he can jump to Ezreal. Um, and that's huge. That would make it so he can do something without his ultimate. And even if he doesn't think that he can Hex Flash, he can ulti and do that. Because if he goes mid here, it's not going to work out very well for him. She's two levels up. Uh, she has 67 armor. He only has uh, a Dusk Blade for Lethality. So he has only uh, 30 armor pen. And that's not s flat armor pen. Okay, yep, jumping here is good. He's doing his combo wrong, though, as we said before. Uh, should be using the E. He should ulti here. Nice. Nice. Okay, nice. Uh, here. Okay. Alright, you see them all coming. You need to... You, you see bot disappear? Suicide. Uh, run down this way, and then run into this turret over here. Place a ward right there. As soon as you start seeing them get closer, run in and suicide. Um, just because then it, like... Suiciding is way, way, way better than just dying. Um, so if you can, try not to think of it as, oh, I need to live. Try to think of it as, oh, I need to live or not give them gold. Okay, right here, back out of its way before it charges. If not, don't use your W until it charges and then use your W to uh, deny the charge. Um, Q through it, walk over, walk to the side. Nope, okay. You need to go into a practice mode. If I was this guy, I would go into a practice mode and just practice killing this thing over and over again, uh, seeing how you can like evade. Other than that, he's doing okay. Um, and you can use your W for its like basic auto attacks, but only if you uh, know how to dodge its uh, major auto attacks. Right here, he should empower Q and then just E. Um, that ends up going one for two. Now the issue here is the Irelia is like popping off, and again, remember how I was saying that you should probably be ganking the Irelia, especially since he went for the Hex Flash. Um, 
But right now, the only person on their team that's very strong is the Irelia. Your Twitch is ahead. Your Alistar can block for the Twitch. Uh, your GP is ahead. GP is really good late game. You have a late game scaling team composition. Irelia spikes mid game, which is right now. So Irelia is at the peak of her power, and your team falls behind, or your team succeeds later on into the game. Um, so basically, what you want to do is just make sure that you can like hold on. If you can hold on, you'll be fine. Oh no. Okay, right there. Walk into this bush. Hop to that minion. Um, you can still jump in the. Yes. Okay. Good. Works out perfectly, anyways. Yep. Hop to him. Okay. You die there. It's only one for two. You get the turret. Um, it would have been better if you had just cleared this and then let GP kind of deal with it on his own, uh, because GP does have his kegs and stuff like that that he can use, as well as his oranges. Um, but right now, either way, GP is going to become a scaling like monster. Twitch is going to become a scaling monster. Your job in this game, as a Rengar, is going to be to deal with or er, and kill... I would say probably just kill the Ezreal, because I don't know if you're going to be able to kill the Irelia. Or if Irelia is frontlining, jump on the Ir Irelia and kill her uh, if she jumps on Twitch. Um, that way, you appear out of nowhere, and she's like, oh, gosh... Uh, Rengar's right here, I gotta stop my focus, I can't let him on the Twitch, I can't let him on the GP. Because there's, they are what's gonna do a lot of the damage late game. Um, your job is just to protect them. By the way, your, uh, thing's about to expire, so place it bot lane. Um, if you place it bot lane right now, um, and if your team was okay with it, you actually would be able to just go and take the, um, take the Baron Nasher. Um, he has to place it, though. Oh, no, please tell me that he doesn't just let it expire. Oh, gosh. Okay, sweet, okay. Um, I probably would have placed it bot lane and then tried to uh, go take the Baron, honestly. Just because, yeah, I mean, depending on how many people it diverts. Okay, so, like, if it diverts a lot of people, like, if they send Irelia down there, then you can take it, because the rest of their team isn't that strong. Like, I especially Irelia and Ezreal. Um, I know that's kind of, like, the ideal circumstances, but, um... If that had happened, that would have worked really well. But either way, having that split pushing instead would be good, because then, if even if you can't do Baron, you can push mid. Um, and then GP's pushing top. That's basically like having a 1-3-1, except a 1-4-1, uh, because the Rift Herald uh, obviously isn't a champion, so that enables you to have somebody else. Uh, that also denies this wave from pushing, and gives you a little bit of gold from that wave pushing. The next team fight over Dragon will probably go very, very well, if they position it right. Okay, again, you should still be using your W here, um, just because it's always useful to have that extra little bit of healing. Um, he could have also just auto-attacked there, and then queued forward over here, and then E'd this one, uh, which is probably what would have been ideal. And again, don't clear the little ones. Your, your Q's going to do that for you. Clear the big one first, and let your Q... Make, make it so your Q hits all of them. That way, uh, you don't really have to worry too much about... Um, oh wait, what's happening here? That way you don't have to like worry uh, too much about clearing all the little ones in like sequential order and stuff like that. Just clear. Nice. Okay. And it's Wing to get out. Perfect. That worked really well. Notice how little damage Irelia does to Alistar. Oh, what happened there? Looks like he uh, just kind of popped up. There probably really wasn't much they could do there because it looks like he uh, popped his uh, Predator. So it's like, you can't really run from that. When you're that low, uh, it's kind of impossible. Um, but that wasn't like a, a bad idea. Him trading for Soraka is good there because Soraka right now is really strong. Uh, for the team in general, the enemy team in general. So the GP's not able to get anything, and the issue, and the reason why none of that happened, is because Twitch is bottom lane doing nothing. Now, this would actually be okay if they didn't get anything mid off of it, because you trade um, three kills for one kill and a turret. Um, if Twitch had, like, backed right away and was able to, like, run over here and, like, help you, like, right now, if he was right here stopping them with you, that would actually be, it would be decent. It wouldn't be the best, but it would be, like, an, an okay trade. Um, but, yeah, if, if Twitch was here, that'd be really, really good. Uh, sadly, he's not here. Um, so that's not going to work out. Okay. Uh, Black Cleaver here is okay. Yeah, yeah, Black, Black Cleaver here is okay. You can, you can go Black Cleaver. Um, I was, like, thinking about it for a second. I was like, uh, yeah, okay, that's that's decent. Yeah, Black Cleaver going Tabby's is always going to be good. Um, you need to fight for this right here. GP, you should be spam pinging GP to teleport. Spam pinging GP's teleport is what you should be doing right now. Um. Okay, this is huge. Go on to Irelia. Go on to Irelia. 
or go on to Singed. You you needed to make it so they don't get on the um, so they don't get on the Twitch. You did nothing that fight at all. So like, let's look at like an example of what you could have done that fight um, instead of being useless. So to not be useless as a Rengar in a fight, if you come over here, I would never go in here. This is where your team is. I would go over here. So they do have a control ward, but you don't know that. Um, so I, w I would just still go over here, like despite them having a control ward. Uh, if you know that they have a control ward, then walk around over to here. That gives you a flank so you can go on their back line. Um, right here, if you're going to play it like this, you need to go in now. That way, they get distracted by you, and Twitch can start getting off his volley. Because then Singe will be like, oh, he's on the carry. He flips you instead of flipping the Twitch. Right now, you need to enable Twitch. He has 70% crit chance. He has, with his ultimate on, he has uh, 208 AD. And once he gets his Q off, he's going to have, like, 2.2 attack speed. He's going to be hitting everybody so fast, it'll be, like, actually ridiculous. So if you go on Irelia right here, for one, it locks her up. For two, Singe is like, oh, I, I should probably get him off of Irelia. And for three, they target you uh, while the Twitch is able to get off a full volley. But instead, you don't go in there. Because of that, they kind of just ignore Alistar. Uh, granted, Alistar should have saved his uh, headbutt. That way he could save the um, Twitch. But that fight just goes really, uh, really badly because you mispositioned so blatantly. Um, never just go the same spot. You want You have to get a flank, so always go like around. Um, just go go around. Don't go, don't go for the same spot. It's really not not worth it at all. Okay, right here. If you have a feeling they're on Baron, um, which you should now definitely. Um, from here you can yeah okay. He's moving in here. Not gonna be able to get anything there. Uh, but luckily, okay that that worked out really well. Right here is a. Time where you can call Baron. Yeah, perfect. Okay. I love how I pinged it. Like, I was like, guys, take it. Um, but yeah, now you can actually call Baron. And this works out really, really well for you, too. I'm pretty sure that you'll be able to pick this up. Um, the issue with this game, though, is that they have two Infernal Dragons. So you have to be really careful. Okay, missed Smite. That's very bad. Uh, look at your Smite damage. Look at its HP. Wait until it's, like, literally right about to go under. And then wait until your auto attack is sinking or your Q is sinking. Sink your Q with your Smite. Um, uh, that way it's just, like, easier to Smite. Uh, especially if you're, uh, if you have your empowered queue, that's really good. So overall, that that fight ends up working out. The reason why is because you were able to get onto their carries rather than kind of like doing nothing. Uh, if you were doing nothing that fight, again, then that would have went really, really badly because Soraka would have had a bunch of HP to keep healing. Uh, I really probably would have stayed alive. It overall just would have went really badly for you, but it works out, which is very, very good. So here, um, looks like you're just moving down. Good, good, good. Right now, you want a team fight. Your team right now, okay, so GP is huge, okay? GP is massive right now. Twitch is massive right now. You have the um, Baron buff, which is really, really good for uh, Twitch. Oh, he said he doesn't have the Baron buff because uh, he died. But either way, okay, so he should have headbutted away right there. That was just really, really unclean by him. Luckily, he stayed alive for, like, ever. Um, okay, what what is happening? GP is not doing anything these fights. Okay, there, there should theoretically be no way that you lose a fight, like, right now. Um, with what's happening. But the way that this is being played by him... Okay, so he wastes his W and his Q trying to do something stupid. Um, and then he gets punished for it. And then he spends all of his time trying to dodge rather than, like, doing anything useful. Alright, so his W and Q is up now. So right here, he should be Wing him. You do, you actually land your E, which is clean. But this guy should be W, so this shouldn't even hit him at all. All of that damage, it shouldn't be there. That That's a that's a bad onto him. He Q's late. Uh, he W's late, and then he Q's all of them. All of that from him is late. Um, and then sadly, you're not able to do anything because... So that that wasn't, like, the Rengar bad at all. That was just all, all the team right there. That was really, really bad. Plus, GP wasn't there. If GP was there, that would have been a very, very different fight. GP has 321 AD. If he got, like, one crit auto attack, it would have just... Crazy damage. Um, plus, if he kegged, then that would have slowed for... Uh, how much does it slow? 80% for two seconds. That would be ridiculous. Uh, if he hit both of them with that. Twitch probably would have lived. Um, but yeah, that that's just your team not grouping. You need, to, you need to group Twitch and GP should be together. They're both late-game hyper-carries. 
Um, and they both deal a ton of damage at this stage in the game. When you have Baron up, you should be grouping. You should be pinging for all of your team to group right now. Um, you should be running mid, grouping with them. So, if you if you do that right now, then that's really, really, really good. Because that's that's literally... that That's free elo right there if you just group with them. Uh, because, again, you guys have the late game. You have the late game comp. They, they don't. They have the early. You have late. So, you need to be abusing that. Especially considering Ezreal is Kleptomancy. Um, uh, the Twitch is going for a more combative spell. Because the uh, Ezreal isn't going to... The Ezreal's Kleptomancy is for gold, so he'll spike harder, but, um, like, he'll spike harder earlier, but he won't deal as much damage come late game. Okay, so right here, Twitch is kind of getting caught out. Um, again, Alistar does absolutely nothing to save him, which is super unlucky. Um, Ari's gonna run back here. And it looks like you're just kind of getting destroyed in the back line. This is one of those games where Renner can't do much. Um, this game you probably could have split pushed a lot more. Because there's not really like much fighting. But at the same time your team had such a good comp for like team fighting. That you should have just team fought and won. Um, because this actually is a game where you should be able to team fight and win. The problem is Twitch keeps getting caught out. Um, and so that on your end isn't really your fault. What is your fault though is not getting this earlier. Um, not counter jungling nearly enough. You would have been up. If you had went here, you would have been up an extra like 700 gold. With that 700 gold, you could have gotten two extra long swords. You could have gotten uh, like, that's literally 10 control wards. Uh, if you placed one right here and then had another one on your inventory, um, maybe you could have denied Irelia from roaming, uh, Hecarim from getting ganks off, etc. Also, if you hadn't died to Irelia here and instead had went down here, taken this and then suicided, or just suicided in general, you would have denied El Irelia the snowball off of Ari. Because um, I believe that Irelia killed you first. Yeah, yeah, she, she killed you first, and then with that she spiked and then was able to kill Ari. So, th this game is over because you can see right there um but basically what ended up happening was you kind of messed up your early game way too much um you didn't play nearly aggressive enough you kind of like was were, were like uh, no i don't know if i can do this um so there were mistakes your team made but there were also things that you could have done to make sure that this hecarim doesn't get as big as he is which makes it harder for him to catch twitch um there are also also things you could have done to deny irelia's initial snowball which makes it so she's not 10 and 2 right now and all of that combined would have made it so you win this game really easily you would have made it so they get like they still maybe would have gotten the first Infernal, but the second one, you probably definitely would have won that fight. Um, so anyways, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that it kind of helped you. I hope that it helped you, Image Kid, uh, when you do watch this. Um, and those are the mistakes that low ELO players make. Thank you all for watching, and have a wonderful day.